Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the two most important files on a Linux system which are the password file and the shadow file. So they're all located in the etc um, folder and so when you go in there you can list all the options and as you can see the password one is right there and then the shadow one is in here somewhere. But anyways we're going to want to read them so we can simply cat, geez, cat the password file first and so as it's read it's read like this from the top so as you can see it holds the users and information about certain users so it starts off by doing the username right here here's the password and then it goes user ID group ID geckos which is right here the home directory and then the shell so as you can see it holds a lot of important information has all the username information and what the directory is and what they can do so if we open this up alongside the shadow file and as you can see the shadow file opens up the root which is the username and then the encrypted hash so if we open them up side by side here let me just keep this one right here and now I will cat the shadow file and zoom in. Okay, so now that we have both the files open next to each other, we can see that here's the root username. And now if we go over here, there's the password for it. So the shadow file is actually not very readable to the human eye. It's actually really hard to read because it's all blah, 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 blah. But the way it's read is like this. So here's the root, the username that it holds. Number six is the type inside these two money signs is the type of encryption that's being used. And number six is the SHA-5112 method. And then in here is the encrypted password. And that's all we really care about for this instance. But this information at the end actually just tells you the last time the password was changed, the minimum and maximum characters allowed, warning how many days are left bef before you need to change the password, and then the expiration date and the days left until the, ex the day uh, the account expires. And when it expires, it just disables the account and then will ultimately delete it. So um, these two files are the most important files on a Linux system. You want to protect them the best you can. And so if we go to look at the permissions of them we'll start out by doing the password file you can see that's not what I wanted to do you can see that the owner so how you read a file is it goes owner group and then everyone else so the owner has read and write privileges and everyone else can just read it so they can't edit it or make any changes to the password file so now if we do the shadow file the owner can read and write it, the group can read it, and then no one else can even read it. So as you can see, they don't even want people to be able to look at the hashed password because um, some of them, if it was like MD5 or a less secure encryption algorithm, it can actually be cracked and then you have the root password right there for you. So you never want that to happen. But anyways, thanks for watching the video today. Subscribe and like the video, and we'll be back with more information soon. Thanks for watching.